Hello and welcome. In this video I will talk about what is a stack and then I will do the implementation of the stack structure. So what is a stack? A stack is a structure to hold data. Okay, just that. And it works on the basis of last in, first out. Which means that the last element entering to the structure is the first going out. It has two main operations. The first one is the push, where you insert elements on the stack, and this is the last element inserted. And the second one is the pop, where the last element is removed. Okay. Also in this video I will do a method that is the display to show the content of the stack. The stack also have the size to the number of elements that it can support and the count that is the number of elements that the stack has already. So let's go to the implementation. The first thing to do is create the class stack. So here in the code we say, we declare class stack and it will have a prop that is an integer and its name is count. It will have a private set and also it will have a private integer because this is a stack of integers. A private integer array called stack and it will have a constructor that receives a integer size and it builds the new integer with this size array and gives the count the number zero is just this the structure of a stack is just this the next step is implement the method push here in the code we say that we have a public void push that receives an integer and because we have a stack of integers okay and first we check if the stack is full so count is equals to stack length if it is equals we have to say to the user console right line stack is full else we say we insert at position stack count plus plus to update the counter for the next insert and we say that this position receives the integer n. The next thing to do is the pop operation. The pop operation is actually the reversed operation for the push. So let's do this. We have a public integer if the first one receives an integer the second one returns an integer pop and doesn't receive anything okay and we will have a result and in the beginning will be minus one we return the result okay and here we will check if the stack is empty we have to say to the user console right line stack is empty okay else we have to insert in the result what we have at stack minus minus count to update the counter for the next usage the last operation is the display operation to print the stack back again to the code we say public void display and doesn't receive anything and first we check if the stack is empty so if it is empty we say console right line stack is empty else we have to list all the elements of the stack we say first console right line and stack data and then we do a for int i equals to count minus one while i is greater or equals to zero i minus minus and we do a console right line of the stack at position i is just that now that we have all the operations then let's see how to use this and i already prepared the main okay main method where i build a new stack with the size of 10 it can have 10 elements on it 
I also have a while logic where I ask the user to input the operation, push, pop and display the stack, otherwise it will just return, it will exit, ok? So is just this, I have a switch operation here, I get from the console read key the key from the user and then I do the logic of every method here. So let's start and we have choose an operation push 1 to pop 3 display stack. So 1 and we say that 8 7 and now 3 and it displays 87. Now let's pop and deleted data is 87. Let's insert more 1 and 4, 1 again, 6 and 1 again, 8. And let's display 8, 6, 4, ok? So the last one inserted is the 8, let's pop and we have 8 pop again, we have 6, and pop again, we have 4. If we try to pop again, we have stack is empty. So this is the end, thanks for watching and hope you like it.